May the storm of gaming be with you. What is up, Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker SX9 here, back with another one run challenge. The next game I will be playing. Sorry, I had to turn the volume down. The next game I will be playing is... Sacred Gold Edition. This is the goodoldgames.com version of the game. By the way, Good Old Games is, ran by, is another game launcher ran by Project Red, who makes Witcher and currently working on Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Yes, this whole time they've had their own game launcher ever since. So, where they restore old games and bring them back to life. But yeah, um, I'll be playing Sacred Gold, which is technically includes everything of that game the main game and the expansions and stuff like that so yeah as usual i'll be playing this casually with game overs and deaths included hope you guys enjoy and i know it's been a while since i made a video on gsl but i am back and i am ready to go so if you're ready, let's go up and let's go on an adventure together. Alright, this is an, a classic style role-playing game. We have your, who you want to pick to play as, you know, different classes and races and stuff like that. Let's see, um... I'm a gladiator, an expert in close combat and trained in all types of weapons. I feel most at home in two-handed combat, man to man, where I knock my opponent down with hard blows and taunt him as I send him into the next world. I'm a seraphim, descended from a race of mystical warrior angels from the era of the Wars of the Gods. The gods granted the seraphim heavenly magic to weaken their opponents before laying them low with whirling blades. This world. How I've had enough of it. There were once worthy opponents in Ancaria, but those who spread fear and terror are long since gone. Fighting no longer holds a challenge for me, and life without fighting is meaningless, just like death. Once there were many like me. Children of the earth, folk of the mountains. We populated a world below this world. Rich and mighty we were. Enough that even kings would seek our assistance. Those times are gone. Just like my kindred spirits. I am but the last of my kind. Destined to preserve what is sacred to the dwarven race. It's not easy in times like these. But I will do my ancestors proud. I'm an elf, a forest ranger and a hunter, at one with the natural world around me. My magic has a protective character. I favor the bow and arrow, firing accurate single or multiple shots, and only entering close combat when hard-pressed. 
I'm a battle mage, and apart from magic, I have discovered the warrior's arts for myself. I am skilled in using swords and staves when forced into close combat, but my most powerful weapon is the magic of the elements, with which I am able to shape the very foundations of the world. I'm a dark elf, and come from a power-hungry group of the elves. The ritual martial arts of our blood cult have turned me into a deadly shadow fighter, destroying my enemies with poisoned blades and precise blows from fists and feet. I am the Vampiris with a living soul, a blend of nightly close combat warrior, by day vanquishing her opponents with the sword, and at night, a mad, diabolical beast of prey tearing her victims apart and creating a ghastly following with blood-soaked kisses. I'm a gladiator. Yeah, we're going to pick the gladiator, and I'm going to call him Bowser Stormrage, as always. Let's stick with... Okay, you got different difficulties you could pick. You got bronze, which is basically normal mode, and silver, which is intermediate, and after it, silver is gold, which is hard, and then after gold is platinum, which is, let's just say, uh, very hard mode, hardcore mode, stuff like that. We're going to go with bronze for now. But yeah, those are the characters. Now for the intro. Noctura Premis Shailin. Da. Sakana. Act one. The dream. Shadar, the necromancer, summons a demon and fails. The beast from the depths of hell is free. Drenched in sweat, you awaken from the from your restless sleep. Another one of those dreams, only it felt so real and yet not so. Could 
Julius, your gladiator master, have taught you well enough that by your blade you could prevent Ancaria being consumed by this nightmare? Welcome to Ancaria. In order to make your first adventure as easy as, easy as possible, important game elements will be described in windows like these. You will also find a general help screen if you press the H key. Introduction First Steps To begin with, you should do two things. Firstly, open the chest look to look for items. Secondly, speak to the character who eagerly wishes to tell you something, indicating by two exclamation marks above the character. Introduction Collecting Items Chests, Bookstands, Cupboards, Barrels, and other objects which are highlighted when the mouse pointer hovers over them can be searched by pressing the left mouse button. Sometimes items will be un uncovered, else also defeating foes can drop items. Such items can be collected by simply left clicking on them. You can also Use the collect all function A key if you press and hold the alt key information about items currently lying around will be displayed. Collecting I collected items can be found in the backpack within your inventory by pressing the I key. This is your last fight in my arena, Gladiator. Go out and kill your opponent, and gold and freedom will be yours. I trained you, showed you the art of battle, and how the howling mob love you. Delay no more, for your opponent awaits you. Fight like a true champion, or die like a slave. It's a good day to die. It's a good day to die. Equipment. Your character can be equipped with items found in your backpack. Clothing and jewelry can be worn by placing them, placing the items in the corresponding fields towards the right of your backpack. Weapons are placed in the slots to the left of the compass. The weapons in the selected slots are used to attack when the left mouse button is pressed on a foe. Pressing the right mouse button on an item will automatically equip it the corresponding places on the character. If an item, armor, or, for example, is collected and not already equipped by the character, it will be equipped automatically when it is picked up. Combat arts are special skills for your character. To learn a new skill, you need to find and use light, right mouse button, a rune. You will then learn a new combat art which can then be placed in the slot to the right side of the compass and used by pressing the right mouse button on the phone. Fighting. In order to fight, a left click on the enemy is all that is needed. If you keep the left mouse button pressed, then the attack is continued. The chosen weapon will be used for this attack. Range fighters can be can hold the control key to stop the character from moving. Sometimes the outcome of a fight is decided by the wise use of combat arts. These are used when the right mouse button is pressed on an enemy. Combat arts need to be recharged before using before used again. Orc. Anybody else? And if you scroll out, you can see more. If you scroll in, you're closer. But I think... 
We're safe to say that close is good. Once all the objectives of the quest have been completed, a single exclamation symbol will appear on top of a character of a quest character. Speak to the character and they will reward you for your duties. Complete quests to gain experience, gold, and reputation amongst the local folk. Once enough quests have been completed in a region, it will become more peaceful. A region with all quests completed will be respect represented on the world map. M key through a flag. You want my gold? You really want to leave me after all I've taught you? Fool! The orc should have disemboweled you, you disloyal worm. So be it! You will die by my hand as a slave. Traitorous dog. Yep. That's how you want it? Get yes. back here. Go on, Get back run, here. You you rat. Get back here, coward. Oh, and thanks for your gold. Thanks for your boots. Companions. Through quests, you can have companions who will follow you on your journey. Depending on your co companions, they will either hide or pr participate in battle. Once the quest has been completed on your companions, or your companions have achieved their own objectives, then they will leave you. Fighting companions can be armed with various weapons. Just select a weapon from your backpack and left click on the companion's portraits. If they are already bearing a weapon, it will be exchanged for the new weapon you selected. Once the companion leaves you, he will leave his weapon on the ground for you to pick up again. I need someone like you. Please take me to Commander Ramata at Bellevue Garrison and call me Rochefort, the King's Spy. I was captured by that rat Julius when I tried to expose his racket with the slave catchers who have been plaguing Bellevue for some time. Allow me to break open the locks. Then we can be on our way. All right, Rochford. I will protect you, spy. But don't stand in my way when I'm splitting heads. Waypoints. To help with orientation, these, there are three possible options. The large arrow on the compass located at the bottom center of the screen will always show the direction of the main quest. With the tab key, on, a mini-map will appear showing the surrounding area. Red dots on the map indicate bows, while white dots slow important people, show, show important people. The world map M key shows your location within Ankaria itself. Okay. And here is... Looks like we leveled up. Combat arts. Combos. What? There's the inventory, backpack. Let's see what we got here. A merchant. Dang. I don't know you. Pick 
pick up the gold. You could probably tell that this is a Diablo-like game inspired by Diablo. There's the journal. Talk to Julius, the master of the gladiators. What fateful destiny has led me to the arena? Fight in the arena. Tell Julius, we did that. Escort Rochford to Commander Romana, the traitor of Julius Birds and Hack. I horn the mentor and split on the traitor. Fit on the traitor. But the question now is how do I get out of here? As the exits are locked, I should speak to my unknown helper. My new companion's name is Rochford. He seems well versed in breaking in and out. He is an agent of the Crown who tried to expose Julius, slave dealing with the Bellevue gang. We are trying to reach the commander of Bellevue. Even if we bump into other robbers or other obstacles, and who knows, perhaps commander will do something for me in a, my new found freedom once I have delivered the spy to Yamada. The Gladiator is the ultimate close combat warrior skilled and trained to use most weapons. Gladiators fight with both brute force and amazing agility, taunting opponents before crushing them into the dirt. Okay. Statistics. Nice. That's the royal garrison over there. That's oh. run the wrong way. As you can see, I zoomed out the camera so we can see more, more stuff. Great. Please look for my sister. Not nope. interested. Not right now. Maybe some other time. Experience. By defeating enemies and completing quests, you gain experience experience points. Once a certain amount has been collected, your character will increase a level. Leveling will allow you to increase your character's statistics and skills. Additionally, the plus icon will appear next to your character's portrait, giving you the opportunity to either improve current skills or add new ones. These will, ap will appear at the top right 
of the inventory screen. Improve the current skills by left clicking on the plus next to the respective skill. At certain levels you can also add a new skill. Your choice will depend on the type of character you wish to create. A battle bear has escaped from the arena and it is, must be destroyed. Not interested. My armor is inadequate against normal weapons. Okay. That's where we're headed. Run as fast as you can! Already. Let's find a new skill. Hmm. Sword lore. Concentration. There we go. We're level three now. Hope you guys are enjoying this game so far. Be the stash. Yeah, this is the stash right here. We just found the stash where we can stash our stuff. Merchants. All over in Karia, merchants can be found who will buy you surplus items and offer other items for you for you to purchase. With a right mouse click, you can buy items instantly. Willis holding the ship key. And pressing the left mouse button on an item in your backpack will sell automatically. The merchants in your area can be found through the use of the world map M key. Merchants are represented by a money stack above their heads. Quest. All over the world there are citizens who need your help. The needy are indicated above uh, I think I already saw that but if you want to read it go ahead all you gotta do is pause the video and you can read that what's happening What did we get? Hello. It looks like that sword is going to be better than what I have already. What? 
would you do me a favor and pick up my pay book from my house? All right, now. Look for another dummy. Find our blacksmith. Why should I want to do it? Uh, is that Royal Garrison, right? Oh, there's a waypoint. Ah, there it is. Rochefort speaks highly of you, Gladiator. I want to recruit you for the Valorian troops. Go to Port of Valum in the southern borderlands and speak to Sergeant Treville. I shall give you a letter of introduction for Treville. You will serve Prince Valor, who is fighting the orcs of Korad Nur in the south. Take this money as a reward for rescuing Rochefort and buy yourself a horse from the stables for the long journey. A word of advice. Use the long journey to improve your skills, as you will certainly need them in Silver Creek and Porto Vallum. To work for the crown? For money and food? Hmm. World of Sacred. You have completed your first main quest. You should now have met all the basic game elements and be ready to continue without our help. You should investigate the surrounding area of Silver Creek. There are many things which are waiting to be dis discovered. We wish you a fantastic game and bid you, a f and bid you enjoy yourself. Your Ascaron team. All right, let's see what you have. Okay. Oh. Beaming two-hander of the beggar. Studded armor. Armor of the... Go. Jeez. Oh, there you have it. Try to get the graves. There you go. All right. Okay, what's next? Four king and country. You could buy a horse in many places and sell them there as well. Purchase a horse by left clicking on the horse you desire. Once you have bought a horse, you can just 
press shift plus left click or by pressing on the horse you either mount or dismount. If you own a horse, an indicator is added to the top right of the screen below your portrait, showing the house of the horse. If you have distanced yourself from the horse, you cannot find it again. Just click on the indicator and your horse will come to your collar. If you click on the indicator, the right mouse button, you can view the horse's statistics. How about a horse? If you wish to buy one, then please choose that one out of my stock. I will be back. Sometimes it's necessary to sell some things to buy some things. I always want to be you. Yeah. Yep. You can actually ride mounts in this game. So cool. For king and country, go and find Sergeant Travel at Porto Vero. A strange fate has led me out of the dark chambers of the arena and into the world. The crown seems to need my help. Rumor has it that there is unrest in Ancaria. King er Amon Amon is old and weak and the power-hungry barons are plotting to seize power. Prince Valor, the king's son, is fighting against the orcs of Horathor in the south and needs brave fighters who have no fear of bloodshed. So go and find this Travel, who is stationed at the fortress of Erkenberg in the southern borderland. Okay, there's the portal. My armor is inadequate against normal weapons.
teach you to mess with my horse. Friggin'. Go this way. Oh, excuse me. Wrong way. Go around. There you go. Horses should not be walking on stairs. That is so weird. On the other side of the bridge, you will be on your own. But you look like someone who can take care of yourself. The story. As you journey through Ankara, you will become an intrigued part of the story, changing the destiny of the world. It is therefore important to follow the main quests, which will guide you through the world in two new areas. The path to your next destination can be easily found through pressing the tab or M key, which will show you go the way through a dotted line as well as through the large arrow indicator on the compass. Way over there. But I wonder if we should stop here for now. Um, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Enjoyed this game. Bowser. Storm. Rage. Save. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, please remember to click that like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. This is GSL, also with Storm Striker SX9. I'm glad to be back, and if you enjoy this game, I will do more of this game. And I do have a YouTube channel if you still want to check that out as well. So, yeah, I do a lot of videos there. And, yeah. So, until next time, I have Stormtracker SS9. I will see y'all next time.